sitting here in the quiet corner. Allison, what is the significance of the two? Well, my best friend who gave me the two, she has number one. And then our other best friend has number three. Are they here tonight somewhere? No, uh, Lonnie, the number one, she's up at Berkeley and Amy's in Pennsylvania. You all in school? Yeah. Where do you go to school? I go to USC. We're delighted to have you here. To keep up that, that's just what I need, a hand clapper. Ladies and gentlemen, please greet Mr. Jason Chase. Hello, hello! I like that. First thing I want to do tonight is I want to take you back in time just a little bit. Everybody seems to do that, but it's a real... We're going to go so far back, we're going to go back when Dick Clark was as young as he looks, okay? <laughs> this is pretty far. Back, we're going to go back when... So far back that T-shirts didn't say anything. I'm talking back BD, before drugs. Back when a pot party was somewhere you went to buy Tupperware, okay? <laughs> when a bad trip meant going to your aunt's house that couldn't cook. We're going way back. When the big thrill was National Geographic, the African New Guinea section. That's where we're going. Back when making out was kissing, okay? Way, that's pretty far back, I know, all right. And girl, oh, kissing was it. And you'd kiss for 72 hours. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, your jaws hurt. You had to use chapstick over this whole part of your face here. The car windows were fogged over and they were rolled down. I don't, you, you're way too young to remember this kind of stuff. And girls knew more about kissing. Girls have always been a little bit ahead of guys. I don't know if you noticed that. Girls went to our little slumber parties and they'd kiss the backs of each other's hands. Does that feel good to you? And this was back when there was, before this, there was a word called courting. Courting was before any of your time, was back when a guy would treat a girl like she was something very special and very precious for a real long time. Of course, we got rid of that. <laughs> then, then came a word called dating, which is a dead word today. I mean, you people have probably never heard of the word dating. Dating was back when a guy would call a girl ahead of time and make like an appointment with her. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. <laughs> then, then he'd pick her up when he said he was going to. <laughs> and then he'd take her out dining or dancing or to a movie or something and then bring her home when he promised he would. This is way, uh, this is before they had the four bedroom vans. This is way back, waterbed, jacuzzi, you've probably been there. But uh, not you personally, but yeah, okay, you personally. And uh, well, it's way back, and guys would shave every day back then. Every day, baby's bottom, USA. And did they put on aqua velva? Did they put on men in her old spice? No way, it lasted 15 minutes. They put on Jade East. Jade East lasted till you were 21. Even if you put it on when you were 14, it lasted till you were 21. You could go trolling with JD. And girls were nicer when they were dating. Girls used to shave their legs all the time when they were dating. After they're married, they have to sandblast their pantyhose on. <laughs> Turn over in bed and the sheets go and there's some things I want to leave you with tonight before I go. Number one is, make a new friend tonight. Every new friend you make is one more person that can help you move, okay? <laughs> Number two is to recognize when you're in trouble. You know you're in trouble when your car runs out of gas just after you flipped off a group of Hell's Angels, okay? <laughs> and number three is behind every, every man, every successful man, there's a woman. And usually she's going, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And one more little interesting bit here. Watch out for getting older. You have to get older, but you know you're getting older. We were down at the beach, and we went over to get some coffee at the Newport Beach, and there's all these kids looking really strange with purple hair. You've probably seen some of them. Oh, oh, around. And they're wearing, you know, chains in their nose and safety pins hanging from their ears. You know you're getting older when you like to see the cops go by. <laughs> and just a thought, what are these people gonna do for Halloween? I mean, are they going to put on little business suits or something? Or... Thank you very much.